Welcome back to Google Guru. Today's video is brought to you by Kevin Brookhauser, Google Apps Certified Trainer. With Google Drive, teachers can observe and work with students throughout the entire writing process, not just after the first draft of an assignment is due. This video is going to show you how I set up an assignment using Google Drive. So, step one, document creation. When I announce a new assignment, I have all of my students create the document that day with a very specific naming convention. So, to create a document, I have all my students click Create in their Drive account, and then New Document. And then the next step I have them all do is the naming convention. So if you click on the title to rename the document. So I train all my students at the beginning of the year that are required that they name their document following this very strict naming convention. My gradebook is organized by section number and then last name. For example, on a letter to the editor assignment, I have each student name the document beginning with the section number then the last name, then the name of the assignment. So for me, this document would be section number, so let's just say 2 underscore Brookhauser underscore letter to editor. And Brookhauser would be the name of the student, it wouldn't be the teacher's name, so that's really important. And uh, you'll see how much this helps as we get further along in this video. So then I'll click OK. And then the next step is to share the document. If it's not shared, it's not turned in. I repeat that over and over to my students. So rather than having share their documents at the due date, I have them share that, the document with me the day I announce the assignment. This allows me to track their progress throughout the entire writing process and will allow me to intervene whenever I have to. I make sure that they give me editing privileges on these documents so I can post comments and view the revision history. So I'll know if they've been working diligently throughout the entire process, or I'll know if they've waited until midnight before it was due. This turns the process from a teacher responding to a student's work to two writers actually having, having a conversation about writing. So I have them click the share button and then I would have them in here, I would have them put in my, uh, my Google account. So, for example, it could be brookhauser at gmail.com. And I make sure that it is under can edit and then share and save. And then once that's shared, they may get a warning that it's being shared outside of the domain or not, depending on how it's, you have it structured. And then once that's done, you'll see that it's been shared. And then... Um, I, as the teacher, will get an email notification. I'll start getting these new documents in my shared folder and I'll also get them emailed, uh, get an email notification into me. So then the final step is to organize. And I'm not a huge fan of uh, putting everything in folders, but for organizing assignments and when I have this many students, it forces me to use folders. So once all the documents are shared with me, I move them into a folder labeled with that assignment and the school year. So here's my Drive account, and I'll show you this Letters to the Editor folder. Um, these are all my folders that I have, and this is my cur current English class, so Letters to the Editor. And here you'll see that I have all of these neatly organized, first by section number, then by last name. And uh, so I can access all these documents. I can see who's missing by looking at my roster and they're all here and it shows um, where they were last modified. So this keeps everything really organized and neat and helps me stay sane through the teaching writing process.